A second hiker is also missing in a separate accident. Incident, rather, Hawthorne resident Bob Gregory, he's believed to be uh, near Mount Islet, also in the San Gabriel Mountains. KCAL News reporter Lori Perez spoke with Gregory's family and is live now with the latest on the search. Lori. Well, Juan, Hawthorne Police Department was the first place that Bob Gregory's family called when he did not come home. They connected him with search and rescue teams up in the mountains, and five days later, they are still waiting for answers. I cannot talk. Tao Gregory couldn't bear to talk about her husband, 61-year-old Bob Gregory. The couple just celebrated their 32nd anniversary January 3rd. Ten days later, last Friday, he never came home from a hike near Mount Islip. Jimmy Gregory is their only child. He's experienced and, you know, it's, you know he, he knew what he was doing. He was very thorough with what he was doing. Um, had plan had plans um, before him before he started hiking, so he know you know the he know the air he know that he would know the area does his homework about the area and so. Gregory says his dad is an expert safety conscious hiker who's done at least 25 hikes in that area. Family and friends took these pictures when they went there Saturday, desperate to look for him, only to find roads blocked by mudslides and too much snow to battle. Search and rescue teams searching for days have found the same. Wednesday, it was an aerial search only after several ground attempts in what they called treacherous and deep snow, posting these pictures and videos of massive snow drifts, saying the terrain and ice made their efforts exhausting. Well, my worst fear is that, you know, accidents, accidents happen. You know, he probably slipped. He probably went off the wrong trail or even weather right now. Weather is really big factor right now. This is the trail map Bob Gregory posted before heading out Friday, showing where he planned to hike that day. The search is focused there. His son says investigators are also trying to track his dad's phone to see if he might have veered off. I wasn't worried because I know he did it, did it for a long time and he had experience, you know, and it shows that, you know, his progress that, you know, he actually, you know, know the terrain and everything, everything about it. We really wasn't worried until now. And he says deputies have found his father's truck parked near a trailhead. We are live in Hawthorne. I'm Lori Perez. Back to you.